for science. Hey guys, in this episode we're gonna make our own jet engine prototype using a jam jar with a hole in the lid and some methylated spirit. What was that? After hours of calculating we came up with an optimal solution. And this was the result. Now, you might be wondering how this works. We don't want you to build it at home, but we're gonna tell you anyway. Well, when you ignite the spirit, it starts to burn. It quickly uses up all the oxygen in the jar and it stops burning. But when this happens, new oxygen rushes into the yard due to the difference in pressure and the flame reignites. This process repeats itself several times every second and gives the engine that special popping sound you can hear. And this is the basic principle of the pulse jet engine. When I was a kid, I wanted to build an engine for one of my toy cars, so that I wouldn't have to, you know, push them around all the time. Uh, so I thought, why not use our jam jar jet engine to, you know, fuel them? So we went ahead and tried. Armed! As it turns out, we can. But how does it work? When the spirit burns, it heats up the air inside the jar, making it expand. This creates a high pressure inside the jar, which pushes the gases against the walls in all directions, with equal force. But in one direction, there's nothing to stop the gases, i.e. the hole in the lid. Therefore, the force on the opposite side of the jar from the hole is undiminished and pushes the truck forward, due to Newton's third law. Well, you might think this looks and sounds easy to do, but it took a lot of trial and error before we found the optimal combination between the jar size and the hole radius. We hope to see our jet propelled truck in a store near you soon because it's super cool. And if you want to try it at home, please stay safe and do it in a safe environment where you won't burn your dad's floor or something. And thanks for watching iForScience. We'll see you soon again. Bye!